Hello again. I'm going to go over uh, some of the pros and cons and variances in 22 rimfire ammunition. Now, what we have here are three fittings the, based off the same diameter cartridge here uh, and different forms of it. This is your traditional 22 long rifle, which is the largest uh, size in this original fitting of the brass. 22 Magnum is a different caliber. The brass is not the same diameter. Uh, completely different thing. They will not chamber in the same gun. Now, things like a 22 revolver will chamber all three of these sizes, which is the long rifle. This is actually 22 short. And this is a 22 CB load, which is actually the same size as the short, but it doesn't actually have any powder in it. It only has a primer load in there. So very, very light, very, very quiet. It doesn't. It's like a cap gun going off, because that's basically all it is, is, is a cap. There's one size that fits here in between. I couldn't find a box handy, but that's a 22 long. Now, there really aren't any guns chambered specifically for 22 short anymore, and certainly not 22 long, though the loads are still made. Uh, several different firearms will shoot all three, really. They're not going to cycle the CB, and the 22 shorts tend to jam up in semi auto actions that aren't designed specifically for it. But lever actions like the Henry 22 rifle. Some of your older tube-fed semi-autos, like uh, the Marlin Model 60, older models of it, the new one does not state that it'll, it'll cycle all of them. Um, your older Savage Springfield semi-auto tube-feds from the 50s and 60s will typically feed shorts, longs, and long rifles, uh, though they don't usually handle the super high-powered, the Stinger-type loads and the long rifle. Now, energy-wise, uh, this is going to be about what a pellet gun is, or, or even less, actually. 22 shorts going to be very, very equivalent to your your lighter to medium heavy uh, pellet gun loads. So still an effective cartridge, especially for small game hunting and that sort of thing. Long rifle is really going to be uh, the winner here. Uh, anywhere from 100 foot pounds to 200 foot pounds with the heavier stinger loads, the real fast ones, out of a rifle at the muzzle. But then being smaller bullets, they're not going to hold on to that energy as far as your larger rifle caliber. So they're still a very short range weapon. They can be very, very effective at short ranges. Uh, your 22 shorts lucky to get 40 to 80 foot pounds and your CB you're looking at like 20 to 30. I mean it's 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 very very light. But still something can hurt someone uh, and definitely hunt small game and that's why it's still around as well. Alright now if you had one caliber and only one caliber to get in the gun for a, a prepping form or just to, to have to you say you have firearm the 22 long rifle is going to be my most recommended. Simply because it is effective in a lot of situations, it's cost effective on, on the firearm, and it's cost effective to stock up on. Even in the more expensive loadings that are, that are all you can find right now, like a little $4.50 to $5 plus a box of 50, that's still less than half the cost of 9mm handgun ammunition, which is going to be your cheapest handgun load uh, to get. And it's certainly cheaper than your rifle loads because you're talking about the cheapest steel case rifle rounds are going to be around five dollars a box for 20 so I'm, I'm getting over double the ammunition for the cost so definitely going to be probably my number one most recommended caliber uh, as far as a prep goes uh, however you want to look at it it really is effective so definitely uh, my most recommended any comments or questions please let me know